Today we're exploring the green pastures of Chinatown. With me on camera is always this Rick Von Schmidt. Regular viewers to my channel will recognize Chinatown as the site of some past vlogs. Hey Rick, before we start on today's adventure, can you give us a real quick look at a few of the locations of those past vlogs? Ah yes, this is where the old club New Delhi used to be. A young Jimi Hendrix played here. And this is the Sam Key Building. The Guinness Book of World Records calls it the narrowest building in the world. This building used to have a nightclub called the Shanghai Junk. It's where comedians Cheech and Chong first performed together. There used to be a big restaurant here on Columbia called the Mandarin Gardens. It's where young Yvonne DiCarlo performed. Yes, Chinatown sure has some great history. Hey, look at this old tailor shop here on Columbia Street. Look at the Chinese letters here. Wait a minute. That's not Chinese. That looks like it says fake. Fake tailor. Hey, I wonder if this is that speakeasy I've heard about. Two-time magician and the year winner Sean Farquhar recently opened his own speakeasy called Hidden Wonders. Hey, Rick, look up there. Looks like a little HW. Hidden Wonders. I bet this is it. Yeah, let's try and get in there. Sean Farquhar is a local boy done good. He's gone out and performed around the world and won numerous international awards for stage, sleight of hand, close-up, and card magic contests. Let's try this door here, Rick. It's going to take a special touch. All right, we're inside here. Yeah, this sure looks like hidden wonders. Looks like we got a curtain here, though. We'll need a password to get through it. Let's try this. Sim Salabim! Jeez, the, the curtain opened before I said the password. Maybe we should have rehearsed that first. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the magic stage here. Looks like some very mysterious props. Sean Farquhar has been on the Ellen DeGeneres show, and she called him the best sleight-of-hand magician in the world. And he's one of the very few performers to fool Penn and Teller on their TV show. Even those great masters couldn't figure out his tricks. Only thing cooler today would be to meet him and see some of that magic. Hey, Rick, I'm, I'm sensing a presence behind us. You want to turn that camera around? Hello. How are you? Can I help you? Hello. What is this place and who are you? Oh, well, you're very lucky. You just discovered my speakeasy magic show. It's called Hidden Wonders. I'm Sean Farquhar. <clears throat> and uh, I do magic for a living. And in this little room, I entertain 30 people a night in a very exclusive sleight of hand magic show. Would you like to see something up close? Yes, please. Uh, check this out. Uh, it's a, a Rubik's Cube. Uh, most people can't solve these. The world record for solving it is 4.3 seconds. Uh, if I wanted to, I just kind of wave it like this, and the cube goes back to being restored. It's way easier that way. Oh, but I said I'd show you a magic trick. I'll show you something with a deck of cards. Come down to the table and take a look. Here's a deck of cards, and you can see they're all mixed. I'll make it even more complicated by mixing some cards uh, facing down and some cards facing up. So I have cards facing down, some cards facing up, facing up and facing down. I don't know how many cards are going one way, I don't know how many cards are going the other way. It really doesn't matter because even though they're all mixed up, the cards, they like to separate themselves. So even though they all appear to be completely mixed, and you can see that, there's facing down and facing up, some facing up and some facing down, huge mess of cards. If I just snap my fingers, they all begin to face one direction again. Isn't that wild? They all went one direction. And to make it even more amazing, if I snap a second time, all the black ones go to one end, and all the red ones go to the other end. Do you want to see that again? 
Yes, I'll do it one more time. Watch, some this way, some this way, back and forth. I don't know how many, I really don't care. I don't have to pay attention because I know that somewhere in amongst all these cards is a magic card that makes it all happen. All I do is just mix them up, face down, some face up. They can be small little groups or big groups like this, or they can be like uh, small groups like this. It doesn't matter what I do. You can see facing down, facing up, facing up, facing down, uh, facing face to face, a mess. But when I snap, they all go back again, all facing one direction. It's crazy, right? Oh, I thought I'd show off this time. This time I put all the clubs together, I put all the hearts together, I put all the spades together, and I put all the diamonds together. Uh, that's a little of the type of sleight of hand magic I do here. I try to entertain audiences in a very elite, very unique way, and I keep it all hidden behind that little tailor shop. How can we see more? Oh, you can visit my website at hiddenwonders.show, and you can find out all about it and find out where the location really is located at. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks for dropping in unexpectedly. Ladies and gentlemen, that was incredible. Seeing Sean perform up close is unbelievable. He is a true master at his craft. He's the best in the world. But even better, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. He's a local boy, and he's right here ready to entertain you. I'll put a link for tickets below in the comment section. I saw the show recently, and it was the most entertaining show of any kind that I've ever seen. He has been selling out every night, and with so much success, he tells me he will be moving to a bigger venue in Chinatown very soon. We're going to wrap things up today in Chinatown's beautiful Sun Yat-sen Park. Hope you've enjoyed this little taste of old Vancouver as she once was. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmare for wardrobe. Today's vlog was produced by Swervin Mervin Fernandez. On behalf of Rick and myself, thanks for watching. And until next time, that's good beat.